We are coming live from Port St. John's. This is the second beach, one of the most popular uh, beach uh, in the uh, eastern part of the Eastern Cape. You, refer, you know that uh, it was once notorious. You remember the Czech story. Uh, but today, all the, the butters or the tourists are here today to make sure that they enjoy themselves as they are celebrating a new year. But now I'm joined by the mayor uh, of Port St. John's in this area. Mama, for sure, you must be very happy for seeing these uh, people coming down here to enjoy themselves, to celebrate the year. We are elated as Bots and Jones municipality to see people enjoying themselves and feeling free, moving freely. There is no hindrance of cars. They are making sure that they enjoy the water. So there's a lot of fun here and a lot of them are still coming from town because we made sure that no cars are parked in the vicinity of the beach. They are all parked in the town. We also made sure that there's a parking space here which can fit 120 cars. So people are freely moving around and uh, there's no chance of any trouble for them. Let's talk about the local economy because for sure at least if they come in numbers, the economy in the area is booming. For sure it's booming. For sure because we're starting with the PNPs, all the PNPs in Port St. John's are fully booked, most of them, and there are a lot of people who have been here since yesterday. There are people who are having stands here who are selling from their own pockets, and I believe they'll make at least a lot of money. So there's a lot uh, that we are uh, happy about as Port St. John's because we believe that each and every person the taxi industry is also benefiting from what we are doing because as people are parking cars in town, the taxis are taking them here and there's no challenge at all. So how do you make sure that at least they comply to the rules and regulations, COVID-19 regulations and put that way? I can boast that we have a JOC, the Joint Operations Centre, that is made up of all government departments. SAPS is there, social development, traffic, all the government departments and the municipality. For example, yesterday, the team that came, we, uh, about nine arrests have been made of drunken driving. So we are not joking about law enforcement. We make people feel free here, they are most welcome, but we force uh, law so that people understand that it's their safety that comes first. So there's that team that we are having of all government departments that are making sure that health-wise uh, kids are given ambience that are written for numbers of their parents so that if in any case a child gets lost, you are able to identify that child and call the parent immediately. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time. That was uh, Umama Nomvuzom Lombilekringo, who is the mayor of Port St. John's local municipality. As you can see, and now I'm going to talk to, to two or three, some of the visitors. Yes, this one, you are coming from Tartan, then how do you feel now? All right, okay. We are coming from Tata Ngolo. We are happy to be here at uh, Post and John's municipality. We are accompanying with uh, Umeya Nankuyana. We are happy to be here. People are coming with numbers. I, I would advise people to come here at Post and John's next year. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you coming from, little young one? In my PSG. So how do you feel now that you're here? Yeah, I stabulili up, I woman up, lunch. So no deal. Yeah, as you can see they are joyful, they are enjoying themselves because it's first of uh, uh, January 2022. All of them, they are here to make sure that at least they start a new beginnings, a new year, 2022.